this video, we will be going over the crosshair feature found in Motive Wave. Now, the crosshair feature draws a thin horizontal and vertical line at the current mouse location to indicate the vertical axis value along with the corresponding horizontal axis value. And in this case, we can see that we have a price of 2851 with a corresponding date and time of March 31st at 759. You'll also notice a hover pop-up showing the date and time along with the price bar data, open, high, low, close, and volume. The blue status bar here at the bottom will also show the price bar data. You'll notice here as I move the crosshair, the values change to reflect the currently selected price bar. And you can toggle the crosshair on and off via the show crosshair icon found here in the toolbar. Now there are several configuration options available for the crosshair feature and they can be found under the configure menu under preferences, under chart, options. The first one found here at the bottom of the first column, the show crosshair. Now what that does, that toggles the default display of the crosshair feature for the mouse cursor. So at the moment it's toggled on. So if I restart Motive Wave or when I initially start Motive Wave, the crosshair will show. And if that is unselected, then what will happen is the crosshair will not show by default. We also have here in the second column, global crosshair, double crosshair, and solid crosshair. Now initially the crosshair is comprised of dashed lines. And if I click on solid crosshair, you'll notice now that the lines are solid. Now if we go back to Configure, Preferences, Chart, Options, I can also make it a double crosshair. Click Apply, OK. And when that allows, just let me make this larger here. Now this displays two vertical lines encompassing the bar where the cursor is currently located. And this makes it easier for you to visually see which bar is selected. Now, if we go back to Configure, Preferences, Chart, Options, we also have the Global Crosshair. Now, if enabled, the crosshair will be updated across multiple charts that display the same instrument. So let's click OK. Let's just change layout here. Configure Layout. We'll do this one. I'll make this one maybe a six hour. And we'll make this one two hour. Actually, let's link these all up. Okay, so we got two hour, one hour, and now 15 minute. You'll notice as I move the global crosshair on the lower time frames, they also move across the higher time frames as well. For instance, if I go on the lower time frame here to the beginning of April 24th, you'll notice on the higher time frames that they are synchronized on the timeline as well. So that's how Global Crosshair works. All right, so that's it for this video, and we'll see you in the next.